With this video, we're going to look at some basic selection tools in Photoshop. I'm going to be start by making sure I'm in a basic workspace, so Essentials. And actually, let's go Workspace Essentials uh, Reset. I don't need the libraries, though, so I will collapse that. So I have the, the bananas here, um, Command-0 will resize it to fit the screen. There's a little bit of overlap here because of the um, library panel, so I'm just gonna delete that. So I, I've got a white background and it's pure white. There are no shadows or anything on, on it, so it makes it relatively easy. And what I want to do is get rid of that white background and then just have the bananas on a layer by itself after which I can go in and, and move them into another file and do other things with them. So it's background layer. First step is to click on the lock and that makes it layer zero, a regular layer. I am going to name this banana, za, and I'm going to misspell bananas and retype it. So it's bananas. Um, and to delete this background, I can do a couple of things. I could go in and use either the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool. Either one will work in this, this case. Uh, the quick selection tool, you just kind of drag and by default, it's set to add to a selection. So just dragging it around the white, you can see it's selected the white pretty well. And then I would go in and hit the delete key or the backspace key and that would do it. To use the magic wand tool, it's pretty much going to be the same. Just click on that background and then hit delete. And that gets rid of the background. The I could also go in and use the magnetic lasso. This will be a longer process and it's not really necessary here. What you do is you click and then you drag and what you're doing, trying to do is following a line of contrast. So in this case, the difference between the white background and the yellow or brown of the bananas. Uh, occasionally, you can go off track like I'm doing here. Uh, this happens a lot, in which case you just delete and kind of backtrack as you're doing it. That will get you back to the point where you kind of left off. You can also manually click to add a point and with this, it's worth noting that you haven't actually gone in and made your selection until the end point meets the beginning point. So you kind of go back to the beginning. And here I'm going off a lot track a bit, but what's important is that I get rid of all the white and have a fairly close um, line that outlines those bananas. Again, this is probably taking more time than it needs to. Um, the quick selection tool and the, the magic wand tool both worked really well for this and they'd be far faster. There are occasions when they won't work though and then the magnetic lasso tool might work a little bit better. There are always more than one way to make a selection and it's good to have a variety of tools at your command. So again, here I'm just going in, following that outline, and when I'm done, click at the point where you started from, you'll see the cursor changes. It's now, um, looks like the icon on the toolbar. Click there, and it's a regular selection outline. Now the bananas are selected in this case, not the background. So um, I could either copy and paste, and you can see I've created a new layer with just the bananas. Or I could go select uh, inverse, so now the white is selected, and then just delete that white. So, so far, uh, three different ways to select and delete that white. The magic wand, the quick selector tool, the magnetic lasso, and in this case, the easiest way of all will be the magic eraser tool. Again, I can do this because it's uh, just a white background. Click on that white and it's gone. No selection outline, it just magically gets removed. 
I've noticed there's a little white dot here too, so I would also click on that to remove it. All of these ways worked perfectly well, and each one got me a good uh, selection of the bananas with all the white removed. Now, the next step would be to transform the banana. So if you needed to scale it or rotate it, uh, edit, transform, and free transform. So transform allows you to go in and select specifically what you want to do. I usually like to use free transform, uh, number one, because there's an easy key command for it, uh, command T, and it allows you to kind of pick what you want to do as you're going through. So to scale it down, I would hold down the shift key and drag from the corner. Uh, the shift key, make sure you don't distort as you resize. If I don't hold the shift key, it's very easy to do a major distortion like this, and that's not ideal. So shift key, and then drag from the corner, and then let it go when you have it at the size you want. Again, I'm using free transform, so now I can just shift into the rotate option and rotate it to the position I want. When you're done, hit return and that is made permanent. Now to bring it into another file, uh, I would do Command A. And in this case, because it's on a layer by itself, you can see when I go in and move it around, now the selection outline is just around the bananas. I would do Edit, Copy, and Command C is the key command for that. And then I would go to my new, in this case it's the bowl, and I would do Command Paste, Command B to, to paste, and then position it. Now, this looks really clean in terms of the edges if I just kind of move it around so I can see that colored bowl in the background. And that looks good. 